Patrick Baldwin Jr. has been impressive as of late for the Warriors, and sure, injuries to Steph and Wiggins have opened up a little bit of playing time for Baldwin, but he is showing why he was a top-ranked high school recruit in the 2021 class. Despite all the other young talent on the Dubs roster, with Poole, Kuminga, Moody, and Wiseman, Baldwin has been secretly developing into one of the Warriors' best young players. Let's go over why Patrick Baldwin Jr. is the Warriors' best kept secret and why his development may ultimately take the Warriors' young core to another level. First, let's go over the stats. Now, Baldwin has not played in a lot of games this year. He's only played in nine. But I think the main thing that sticks out is his shooting percentages. He's shooting 43.3% from the field and 41.7% from three. And really, the game that sticks out the most is his game against the Nets. He had 17 points, was 6 of 10 from the field, and 5 of 8 from 3. I mean, to have a guy that's 6'10 and can shoot as well as he can, he just looked really good out there on the court. And I can guarantee in the future, if the Warriors hold on to him, he'll be a very valuable asset. There's also other few games in there as well. There was one against Milwaukee on the 13th where he was 2 of 3 from 3. And then there's really another one against the Pelicans where he had 7 points on 3 of 6 shooting. But like I said, he hasn't gotten that many minutes on the NBA level. So really most of his minutes have come from the G League. So let's go over those stats. Now, even in the G League, he's played a lot, but he's kind of been inconsistent. I mean, you wouldn't think from these stats necessarily that he's gonna be like a star player, but to me, from the eye test, you can tell that Patrick Bowen just has some intangible qualities and just some things you can't teach. So in the G League, he's only averaging 10.6 points on 44% from the field, 30.9% from three, five rebounds, 1.2 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.4 blocks. He's also averaging two turnovers. That's really not that good as well, but he is a plus 4.8 when he's on the court, so that's also solid. But even in the G League, you know, despite being inconsistent there as well, he has had some solid games, specifically one on December 11th. He had 25 points on 9 of 12 shooting and was 6 of 9 from 3 to go along with 6 rebounds. Also on November 10th, he had 16 points on 6 of 15 shooting. He was 3 of 8 from 3. And then also on November 9th, he had 15 points on 6 of 11 shooting and 3 of 7 from 3. And you can see kind of the games in between there didn't really shoot that efficiently from the field. Now, I'm going to kind of attribute this to his ankle injury that he had while he was in college. He was pretty much out almost the full season and really couldn't get a rhythm. And now, you know, with his shooting and with his size and length right on the defensive end, and those are definitely some things that are going to be of value at the NBA level. But I think he's still getting his legs under him and really just developing as a player especially after that ankle injury so with that you know he had a lot of single digit games kind of during this stretch in the g league from you know late november to early december right nine points five points three points seven points six points nine points right that's like six straight games not even scoring double digits and keep in mind he's playing you know pretty high minutes too and he's getting a lot of opportunity because he's in the g league but still i think the thing that intrigues me the most is that when he's played at the nba level he's played really well he really does not lack confidence at all you know he confidently shoots the basketball um he's just a high iq player so now having said that let's get to some of his traits that i'm really excited about and even some things he can work on the first quality is something I've already mentioned quite a bit, but that is his smooth jump shot. Baldwin is just a really, really confident shooter. You can tell he's got great touch, and that's something he's practiced a lot growing up, and that's really going to be the main thing he's going to contribute at the NBA level once he gets a bit more acquainted and develops his skills a bit more. Another thing Baldwin has is great length and size. He's 6'9", and the fact that he can shoot the ball, that's a great, great combination. And with that size, he's already played the three, four, or even the small ball five when he's been on the main roster for the dubs. And that's a really, really valuable thing to have. A guy that is very mobile at that size and can play pretty much any forward position, play the small ball five. And I could argue, you know, maybe he could even play guard too, right? He has that skill set with the shooting. And like I said, he's really mobile as well. So that really helps. Also, another thing with Patrick Bowen, he has great defensive potential. And as I said, with, you know, his length and size, with, you know, being able to play the three, four, or five, his defensive potential is just through the roof. And I can bet, you know, with the coaching with Steve Kerr and even, you know, with the guys at the G League level, that he can be coached into a very good defender. You know, you get him to, you know, follow the Warriors principles. You know, once you get him comfortable with the system, I think he can be really valuable on that end of the court. Also a strength with Bowman, you know, given his size and mobility and fluidity at his size, he can put the ball on the floor a bit and he's got good handles and fluidity for his size. And also, 
Baldwin has a great basketball IQ. His father was a coach at Milwaukee where he went to college, and he's basically grown up around basketball. His family is a basketball family, and I think that's really helped him because you can just see he has great instincts. He knows where to be on the court. He knows where to go. He knows how to run an offense. He knows how to play defense. But like I said, for him, it's really recovering for that ankle injury and getting back to where he was in high school, and I can see that he's definitely doing that. And because of that, I got really high hopes for Patrick Bowen. But Having said that, there are some things he needs to work on, right? Consistent shooting is one. I mean, at the NBA level, he's done that through nine games, right? 41% from three. But at the G League level, he needs to work on that, right? Only 30% from three, and he's taking almost seven attempts per game. Overall, I'd say his finishing is good. I mean, he is shooting 44% from the field overall in the G League, while he's only, you know, shooting 30% from three. But, you know, I think that will still be something he needs to work on because he does rely on his outside shot more than anything, and that's what he's done when he's played at the NBA level and not the G League level. So there will be something to work on as well. Also, another thing's, you know, defense and playmaking. I think, you know, those two things will come along. The playmaking hasn't really been his role. And also, you know, I don't know about the defense either, but at the same time, I wouldn't really worry about that if I was the Warriors. Patrick Baldwin kind of has the perfect body type to be a good defender and be a good playmaking forward. And like I said, he's already got a good basketball IQ, so I don't really think that's a big concern. But here's the thing with Patrick Baldwin, right? The Warriors don't have anybody with Baldwin size that can shoot as well as he can. Baldwin is basically the forward that we've known the Warriors have needed all along, right? He gives them the size and shooting off the bench they just don't currently have. And with a lot of these trades that I've suggested the Warriors, you know, should make lately, it's to get guys that can shoot threes and play defense. And basically, Baldwin's that guy. But, you know, he's kind of like a few years away from being a few years away. Like, I would say give him, like, maybe another season in the G League, or maybe even by next season, and he'll be a great contributor for this team. I mean, if you have, like, him and Kuminga as your backup forwards, that's huge, right? Those guys are athletic. You know, they're developing, you know, as playmakers, as defenders. And with Baldwin's jump shot and his ability to be so versatile as far as pretty much being able to play the three, four, or five, that's huge for this team. So to wrap up, Baldwin is basically the forward that the Warriors really need. You know, like I said, give him a few years and I think he'll be that perfect complimentary role player to Steph and Clay and Wiggs. And, you know, he'll be able to shoot, play good defense. And with this high IQ, I think he's going to figure it out very soon. He's already grown up in basketball throughout his life. So ultimately, I think Patrick Baldwin will be a huge asset to this team. And I do not think they should give him up in any trade if there is a trade offered. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.